our next episode. Next episode. This is exciting. Yeah. What are we doing today, Mum? We're doing building a second brain. So what do you think a second brain is? Well, my understanding, because I started reading Building a Second Brain mm-hmm. book, but I haven't progressed By Diego Forte, highly recommend. Yes. Link yes. is in the description. It's a way of, instead of trying to remember things, rather than writing post-it notes and notebooks, it's mm-hmm. a form of saving into a certain area where you can always come back to. Um, mm-hmm. So that's what I'm understanding it is. It's it's a way of maybe having my own personal library mm-hmm. that I can refer to. Yep, and that's great. And I'm going to learn how I'm going to do it. Well, what's your first question? Hmm. My first question is where do I start? <laughs> yeah. So I think the best place to start is I'll show you mine. This is a note that I've created. This is called a note. So this is a note I've created about my second brain. And I just have some notes here that we can read through. The concept of a second brain, it's existed for a very, very long time, but it was popularized by the book Building a Second Brain by Tiago Forte a few years ago. So essentially, as you said, mom, it's a personal knowledge base that connects different ideas in new and interesting ways. Mm -hmm. So this is what's called divergent and convergent thinking. Divergent thinking is when you're thinking big. So you have a problem. What you want to do is you want to find as many possible answers as you can. So this is where you're coming up with a lot of ideas. Mm-hmm. And then once you have a lot of ideas, you can then start switching to convergent thinking, which is where you start to narrow down your scope. So then so you reach a solution. So as in look at what your divergent ideas are mm-hmm. and then see if any of those are suitable to put into action. Yeah, kind of. So what you can do, so each of these dots represents a different idea. Mm -hmm. So you can start to collect them in your own personal way. And so the things that you have in your second brain will be different to the things that I have in my second brain. And we can come up with completely different ways to use the same information. So Mm -hmm. if we have a look here, you can see this is my graph. So this represents every idea that's in my second brain. So each little dot, is a different thing that I've added and you can see how they're moving around. That means Mm -hmm. that I'm connecting them. So this is all my divergent thinking. So I'm just collecting a lot of information, as much information as I possibly can. And then Mm -hmm. as you start to see, see how some of the dots are getting bigger. Yes. Yeah. So that means that I'm, I'm connecting those different ideas together. And what's the difference between green and white? Mm -hmm. It's a great question. So the green is a tag, the white is a note, and then the yellow is an external document. So it could be a photo of something or a PDF document, things like that. All right. And where you've got green, that's where (laughs) you've connected it more together. And that's why you can see they're bigger. You know, there's more information in those bigger dots. Exactly. So when I first started, I used it for my study. And that's the really important thing when you're starting a second brain is you want to just start with one area of your life. So if, for example, books could be a good option. So you could create Mm -hmm. a new note for every single book that you read. Mm -hmm. And so you can see here, it's getting very active because this is when I started using it all the time. So you start in one area and then you figure out new ways to use it and connect Mm -hmm. the different ideas. So it's sort of really like making a folder or... When I was younger, you'd have filing cabinets. So you'd mm-hmm. have different files for different things you wanted to store. So it's basically like that, but it's all electronically. Yeah. So it's a digital version of that. So you can actually share it as well. So if we have a yeah. look at, let's see what this one is, innovation culture. So what I've done here is I've created what's called a glossary about innovation culture. Mm-hmm. So you can see here, there's 73 mentions of innovation culture across all of my notes. So a lot of these are related to my study, but what I've done is I've linked it all here. And that's probably a bad example because I haven't actually done anything with that information. But if we look at culture, you can see here that I've started adding some definitions in. So these definitions have come from different parts within my second brain. 
I can then go to, or if I click over here, this link, I can go to that reference. All right, and it gives you more details. Mm -hmm. So if you know you've added somewhere into here, yep. a study that you've read and you know you've done it, if you knew mm -hmm. sort of who produced the study, you could just type in who you know who wrote it and it would bring up everything that you've stored in your yep. second brain. Yeah. So what would you like me to search for? Pick a term. Well, I'm, I'd be interested in books. Like if you books. got an area where your books you've read. Mm -hmm. So you can see here, what I did is I just searched for books. So I've got 101 yep. results for books in my second okay. brain. So you can see, um, so this one is a book that I'm reading that I've taken yep. notes for that have automatically come in. This one's an article. Um, this is another article that I've taken highlights from. So you can see all of my references for books here. You've added all the references or mm -hmm. when, you, when you're when you reading a document and you can upload it to here and it uploads the yeah. document. So reading. building a second brain is not just building one thing. It's having an entire system. So this is my second brain workflow using the code concept. So, th so this was in the book, Building a Second Brain. Yeah. So we start with our capture tools. We then have organize, distill, express. So whenever I read an article, it I will read it in matter and I can highlight it. It will yep. then come through into Obsidian. If I listen to a podcast, I can take snips of different things that I find interesting and it'll automatically come into Obsidian. If I take any notes on my super note, I can add them into my Obsidian. If I take any notes in my Google Keep app note folder, I can add it into Obsidian. And on my to-do list, I can add it into Obsidian. And when you say you've say you listened to a podcast, you only want mm -hmm. to put certain parts of that podcast. You can like snip it mm -hmm. and put it into Obsidian. You can you can just take what you want to take from a podcast rather than the whole podcast. Yeah. So in my inbox. Anytime I um, highlight anything or listen to it, so I've said this is really important to me, it will sync with here and it'll go into my inbox. And then once it's in my right. inbox, I then move it to different places. Yeah. So if we have a look at Snipped, we've got here. So this is a podcast I listened to, um, the That Will Never Work podcast. And this was an episode I listened to. And then I've got all the highlights. So all of these highlights are things that I took away mm -hmm. and thought I might use in the future. So I'm thinking this saves you thinking, oh, I really heard that by so-and-so, whereas my thinking would be, oh, I'll go and listen to the podcast again so I can get mm -hmm. the details. But here you're putting the relevant information you may want down the track mm -hmm. into here. Yep. So you can recall it by just exactly. searching for it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So you'll see at the top, I've tagged podcasts, but I've also mm -hmm. added work 2030 white paper. So this mm -hmm. is a paper I'm working on about what work will look like in 2030. I have it here and then I've got all of the mentions that I've made to it. So when I come to actually put together this paper, I will be able to look at all of these linked mentions and say, okay, all of these have something that's relevant to this paper that I want to write. What is actually relevant? So then I can go back into these documents and find the part that's relevant. Now, I know there's no silly question. Mm -hmm. How long has it taken you to put all this information in here? Four or five four years. years. So this is four yep. years of work. Mm -hmm. And when you're searching, you've started with an exclamation mark to start off with. So this thing, which isn't working because I've obviously forgotten the shortcut. Let me see if I've got it here somewhere. Let's try another leading innovation somewhere. Let's see if that works. So see how it's now added the entire article? All right. That's, yeah, under that particular yeah. subject. Mm -hmm. So then I can, um, I don't, obviously don't want to do that because that's not really useful. So then what I could do is I could go in here and then find the bit that is relevant and then I can specifically highlight that part of it, that section. All right. So if you clicked on, if you clicked on each of those, like those little blue headings, mm -hmm. the little blue heading, is that like a subfile? 
yeah so it takes you to a different a different note that I have yeah 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 so that just took me to this so the leading innovation summit that I attended in March Hmm. so rather than go through um, lots of notebooks Mm -hmm. you've got all this on your laptop yep so I if I'm taking manual notes I'll take them in my super note yeah and then I upload them into here and I also convert it to a Word doc so that I can then search for it. Because if I just so, uploaded the PDF, I wouldn't be able to search for it. All right. So you have 67 documents in there. So that was 67 documents. pages. 67, 67 pages, pages for the conference. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, that's just from the conference. Mm-hmm. So are you ready to create your own? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yes. Let's add your first note. See that little square? Yeah, that one. So we click that. So there's your first note. So this is another form of an app. It's another app I can use. Yes. So I mainly use mine on my desktop, but you can add it to your phone if you want to. All right. But because of my workflow that I have, I find it best to just use it on my desktop. So now you've got your first note. First note, and then I can just save it here. No, nope, it's already saved. Oh, it's already so, saved as you. Yep. Yeah. So as you type, it automatically saves it. So yep. if you wanted, so you saw how I had lots of folders. Yes. In mind, that came from the book, but because you're getting started, you probably don't need your file structure yet. But you can add yep. it in if you want to. So down here. Oh no. Uh, no, if you um, want to add a folder, so back where you just were, yeah, that one. So then anytime I have something new that I put in here, I put it in my inbox. Yeah. And then every generally on Sunday morning, I will go into my inbox and I'll sort everything to where it belongs. And once I have things in my inbox, like I'm hovering mm-hmm. there, it will tell yep. me it'll tell me how many articles I've got in there. Yep, there you go. So see you're learning about Obsidian Note. If you click on that yes. and drag that yep. up to your inbox. So now all it's right. in your so inbox. So it just shows you all here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. So if I had 20 things in there, this would be quite long here. Mm-hmm. So it'll show yep. you and it will go out of there when I put it into archives projects. So projects would be if this is something I'm going to work on. Yep. Yeah. And then each one of these would have a little subfile to it, so to speak. If you want to. Yeah. It's personal. So the yeah. point of a second brain is building something that works for you. So what yeah. works for you may not work for me, and that's fine. Yeah. The yeah. the key thing to remember is that you need to use it. So it has to be something that you will use because if it's not, you're not going to use it. Yeah. So you might yeah. find this structure doesn't work for you yes. because but of the you things that you're play, saving. Yeah. yeah. So you just you play around with play. it and you figure out what works for you. Like, for example, I could do um, I could do up a file about reading and mm-hmm. what books I've read and whether yep. I've enjoyed it or not. So, yeah. All right. Well, that can yeah. be homework for me, Jess. Yeah. It sounds to go good. And put some different book reviews in. Yeah. Yes. One last question. Mom. What is building a second brain or what is a second brain? Well, I'm building a second brain. One sentence. Is Okay, it's a form of folders that something is going to be useful to me to store information. Mm -hmm. That's one sentence. I was going to say something that I will use. That's why it's all different. Exactly. What are we doing next time, Mum? I'm not sure I know what we're doing. TikTok. TikTok. Okay. (laughs) All right. Okay. Great job, Mum.